What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Tyler Shelvin, uh, defensive tackle out of LSU. Now, he is 100% a nose tackle. Uh, the second you see him, you'll know that. Because he's 6'3 and 346 pounds, and I'm pretty sure he's actually bigger than that. Uh, which is incredible. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say he's too damn fat, but I don't care. Because what you're asking him to do. Uh, cause you can't move him. You cannot move him. Uh, I've seen people try with two or three offensive linemen. You cannot move him. You cannot. Uh, he is strong as hell. You're, you're just not moving him. He gets his hands inside. Uh, he controls a gap. I kind of mentioned with like Aleem McNeil where he just kind of stays in place and doesn't move. This guy actually does get his hands inside on you. And kind of looks around and then throws you to the side and goes and makes a tackle. That is controlling a gap. That is the difference between them. He's strong as hell. Uh, he could play a little bit of one tech, I guess, if, if you need him to. But I definitely see him as a zero. Uh, he does have a bit of a cloth pull. And he can pull on your hands a little bit too if you're slacking. Um, but I definitely don't think he's going to provide very much in the way of pass rush for you. So, you probably don't want him on, like, third and longs. But, honestly, I don't really want your nose tackle in on third and longs, period. So, if his job is just to plug up A-gap, he's perfect for that. Now, I don't think he's, like, an early round, like, a first round pick. Because you don't draft nose tackles, usually, in the in the uh, first round. Unless you're, like, um... I can't think of his name right now, but the uh, the the dude that went Derek Brown went to uh, Carolina last year, um, and he could play three tech for you too, and that, that that's why he went early. But it, as far as just doing his job, just plugging up a gap and just not letting anyone run up a gap, you're fine uh, because you can have you can have your linebackers guard the outside runs and stuff like that. You can have your edge rushers do that because he's not going to have the athleticism if they do an outside run or something or a pitch or anything like that. He's definitely not fast enough to go get it. That's for sure. But that's what your linebackers and stuff are for. But if you are, if you want to try to run it up the middle, it's not going to work. <laughs> if he's up there in A-gap, you cannot run it up the middle. <laughs> it's just how it is. So keep that in mind. Uh, like I said, he's not going to be super athletic, but as far as just plugging up A-gap, he's got that covered. So, uh, Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.